In Project Zomboid, you need to eat, sleep, drink, and avoid the ever-present zombie hordes. It can be overwhelming, especially if you're new to the game. Finding food, water, and supplies while trying not to get eaten by zombies can be frustrating. But as a survivor, you'll learn to push through these challenges as you explore and develop skills. Hey, it's Nurse, and in this video, I'll share 10 tips that will help you survive longer and thrive in Project Zomboid. Number 1. Sprinting is one of the most effective ways to ensure death in Project Zomboid. You will become exhausted and more vulnerable to attacks if you keep running. By default, you can outwalk every zombie in the game, so there's no need to run unless you want to escape certain death, like an ambush for example. Running away may buy you some time, but it won't keep zombies at bay forever. Number 2. The best way to survive the apocalypse is to sneak around and avoid zombies as much as possible. It may seem like an obvious solution, but if you're patient and skilled enough, you can pretty much sneak around anywhere undetected. Well, sort of. The more sneaking around zombies you do, the more proficient your character will become at sneaking in the game. Number 3. You can lure zombies to your location by shouting. Pressing Q on your keyboard will make zombies in the area come look for you. It's a great way for inexperienced players to get themselves killed, so don't do it unless you know what you're doing. If you crouch down and then press Q, your character will whisper instead of shout. You'll get a much smaller radius if you crouch while pressing it. Good for drawing small groups of zombies without attracting all the attention at once. If you want to see whether it's safe for you to explore a building, try shouting shouting or whispering before entering. If zombies come shambling towards your location, either pick them off or wait until you can sneak past them before heading in. Number 4. Guns make noise. And we all know that zombies use sound to find their victims. So the louder you go, the more likely you are to attract them. And no one wants a horde at their doorstep. One of the quickest ways to get a horde on your tail is going around town blasting every walker you see. Don't do that unless you can get out if something goes wrong. Once you start attracting zombies, there's no telling when they'll stop coming. Even though it may be tempting to try and level up your shooting skill early with a few headshots of your own, remember, always have a backup plan. Number 5. When caught out in the rain, you should try to seek shelter indoors. Staying outdoors for extended periods of time during a storm can result in catching a cold or worse. The best way for you to avoid getting sick is by keeping your character warm and dry indoors when weather conditions go bad. You can find bath towels in most bathrooms and use it to dry yourself off if you get soaked from the rain. Number 6. Fire is a great tool when facing a swarm of zombies. If things get too much for you, and they will, have the undead walk onto an open campfire, or create a Molotov cocktail by combining whiskey bottles with ripped sheets. Be careful when playing with fire, as it can spread to nearby objects and buildings if you're not wise with your newfound flamethrowing skills. Number 7. Pause and fast forward time. You can pause the game with F2 and still interact with storage. This lets you scan for items at your own pace without any threats to distract you. Things will revert back to real time speed when you start moving again. Fast forward the game with F5, 6, or 7 if you get impatient doing tasks like reading books or some other time consuming action. Pausing the game is best used if you find yourself in a pinch or are trying to make a split second decision. Number 8. One way to regain your endurance faster in Project Zomboid is by resting and sitting on the floor, rather than standing. The next time you find yourself close to exhaustion, drop into a chair, in a car, or near a bed and let your character rest. You will regain endurance faster while resting and even faster while sitting down and resting. If you need a moment to rest and regain stamina, there's nothing wrong with taking things slow for a bit if it means you can avoid getting ambushed by zombies. Resting is key in avoiding encounters that might cost you your life. Number 9. Doorways and windows are particularly appealing to zombies. You should seek shelter in a building or run along the wall of one if you find yourself pursued by a large group of them. When you break line of sight from the zombies following you, they will become more interested in the doors and windows which will allow you to flee. Number 10. 
To hotwire cars, you must first increase your mechanic skill to level 2 and your electronic skill to level 1. Reading the beginner's mechanic skill book and changing tires or taking out car parts will help raise your mechanics level. Disassembling watches and radios with a screwdriver will improve your electronic skill. Grab a screwdriver and go inside a vehicle to hotwire it. By default, open the vehicle interaction menu by holding down the V key and selecting the hotwire option. Whether you're a seasoned survivor or a new player, I hope that you found a tip in this video that will help you survive. What tips and tricks have you learned that have helped you survive longer in Project Zomboid? Leave a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching.